All right, brothers and family, happy MLK, Martin Luther King, Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, nothing but love and respect to Dr. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, um, <clears throat> first civil rights activist that I knew of. And the beautiful thing about him, you know, not only did he preach nonviolence, togetherness, brotherhood, sisterhood, um, family, good values, but he he talked about the economics and getting access to capital for black Americans, because uh, a lot of people that have come to the United States have gotten access to capital um, because that's the name of the game. It's a capitalist country and people, it's a system of winners and losers. And the number one winners, regardless who's in the White House, the governor's house or the mayor's house, are the ones who, the number one winners are the ones that are getting access to capital and the number one losers are the ones that don't get access to capital. So it's the name of the game. So that's why we say during election season, if I don't hear about how I'm going to get access to more capital, then you don't deserve my vote. That's how expensive my vote is. And I pull everybody of all colors and backgrounds of races to have that mindset. I think if most voters did, most people probably wouldn't even vote because they're like, hey, what about this? And they're like, we don't want to talk about that. Then you don't get my vote. But that's just my personal opinion. But that's, you know, that's what makes America a beautiful place to live in. Because I have, a, I have um, because certain countries you can't even, I'm, you know, you're not even allowed to have this kind of free speech. So uh, God, uh, God bless the dead, uh, Dr. Martin, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. And I rock, like I said, he was born in the first, the same month. And his birthday is the same, actual birthday is the same day as my father's birthday. So, um, so definitely nothing but love and respect to uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. All right. Today's word of the day is yell. Stands for to cry out or to utter loudly as in pain, fright, surprise, or enthusiasm. I chose this word today because to be, for me to get a little personal, I feel like within the last um, year of my life, I've not, I'm not as enthusiastic about social media as I used to be, you know, three, four years ago. The best thing about the pandemic is that I, I used to make videos practically seven days a week. And I used to be yell out loud and proud about economics and financial intelligence and things of that nature. Um, don't do it as much as I used to. I mean, heck, I haven't even been, made a video in two days. I put up more shorts now because that's one, that's the ones that get actual more um views those are the ones that get you know more comments and even though how, no matter how funny or how positive the videos are there's always going to be somebody online to complain about something so i i know that's the name of the game when it comes to social media and i don't pay attention to it i usually just um delete the comment and move on with my life block the person it's just like dude i'm i don't do i don't I don't put anything out there that's debatable because unless unless people just are anti fun or anti money, then that I guess that can be debatable. But you know, if you're anti money, then you're on the wrong page. If you're anti fun, you're on the wrong page. So that's really what I'm about. Um, so you know, yell. You know, having passion is a beautiful thing. But I'm noticing the older I get, the less passion I have about a lot of things in this life. Um, and I'm not saying this, I'm not playing the woe was me, feel bad, you know, but everything is supposed to change as you get older and as you progress, you're supposed to become more passionate about certain things and less passionate about other things. Like, you know, I'm 41 years old. I don't go to the club every night. I don't go to the club every week and I don't, I'm not even really a club person. Um, I might go to a bar every now and then, but, um, I'm not a nightlife person. I got that out of my system in my, my twenties and early thirties. And that's cool. Um, and like last year, you know, I went big. I went way big because I turned 40 years old. I went to Las Vegas. But as far as the business of selling products online, well, online store, layers, anything goes, uh, putting out as much content as I used to, uh, content as I used to, it's, you know, the enthusiasm's not there. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe it won't come back. Here's the thing. I had life before social media. Um, I had life before I even think about having a um, YouTube channel, Instagram page, Facebook page, TikTok. There was life before that. So there will be life after that. And that's what you always have to remind yourself, number one, and yell that out, you know, um, because if it's not my whole thing is if you're not getting paid for something and if it's not fun, then what is the point of doing it? <laughs> I don't care what it is in this life, like going to the gym. I feel great when I go to the gym. I get lots of, lots of benefits from going to the gym. So that's why I go. Even on days like today, when I don't feel like going, I make myself go. You know, there's a benefit from it. my job. I get paid to go there to do a good job. You know, um, but this is the one thing I like doing for free. But I'm not this year. I'm just not going to stress myself out about it. It's like, hey, I'm going to put out the content that matters. If, if it's not every day, then so be it. You know, but we're just going to keep this train moving, but it's going to be in a manner that's not going to make me stress out and overthink because then it might as well be a job that I have that I'm not getting paid for. Okay. So anyways, today's quote of the day is by Notorious B.I.G. Rest in peace to him as well. He says, sky is the, is the limit and you know 
that you have to, uh, you know, that you can have what you want and be what you want. And that's just the right mindset to have. I don't care what state you live in, what country you live in. As long as you got the right positive mindset and you keep pushing forward, good things will happen. It might not happen in the manner that you want it to. might not happen in the time frame that you want it to. But good things can happen. The sky is the limit. All right. So on that note, do the great thing for you things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. As always, say, make money moves. I'm going to live like a fool. Take care.